Hello students. Today I am going to discuss a novel Bodily Harms by Margaret Atwood, a Canadian writer. She has written this novel in 2007 which deals with the story of Rennie, the heroine of the novel. She is a native of Griswold, Canada. She was raised by her mother without her father. After her completing her education, she went to Toronto to get her higher education and becomes a journalist. Her life is comfortable there, if not very luxurious in uh, Grisford, but she wants to enjoy life fully. She is like the horseman who jumps high to seat himself on the back of the horse but falls on the other side. When Rennie decided to leave Griswold to enjoy herself fully, she invites her own destruction. She was ignorant that she can be easily trapped in this man's world. The question arises what she means by enjoying herself and what prevents her from enjoying herself in Griswold. She is a journalist, yet she dreams of royal life. Now she is left only with her own way, that is to climb the ladder of prosperity by virtue of her attractive uh, body. As Griswold is a small place where people they have their own moral code. Rennie knows it. She fails to imagine the danger in the world where men have immense power. She is ready to visit that place. Then she decided that she will start her own career in her own style. She started living in a live in relationship with Jake, though there was no commitment between them. They were living together and no promises were there. But Jake was the man who gave her physical and sexual satisfaction. The life was going easily, but suddenly a turn came in her life in the form of breast cancer. Then she told that to her boyfriend, she was operated, her breast was removed, she regained her health, but a sense of incompleteness was there. Even Jake started keeping distance from her and soon she realized that that warmth was not there between them. Soon they were separated. She decided that she will not live here. She will leave for San Antonio, an island in Caribbean, a Caribbean island, where she will start her career as a journalist. Then she left for that place. She hoped that she will there be acknowledged as a distinguished personality in the middle of the colored and black people. When she arrived there, she falls in the trap of uh, these dope dealers and armed traffickers. First, she comes in contact with Dr. Minow in the plane. He also tries to use her, but in much more con but in a much more concerned way. When he comes to know that she is all alone, he does not really warn her about the politicians in San Antonio, about the traffickers of the island. It is difficult to know whether he love or care for her sincerely or not. But we can say that he is the only man that is not threatening Rennie's integrity. Then she comes into contact with Paul, 
who was a man who deals in arms and after meeting paul she realizes that he is the man after jack whom she dreams for now without much bothering and making much queries about paul in that unknown island she was in the relationship with him now she feels much sexually satisfied and it is here after jake she find that satisfaction which she was missing for a long time and <clears throat> in this way paul also took the full advantage of her body and another character laura was there whom reni does not know that she is one of the members of the group of paul but with the help of laura indirectly paul kept on exploiting uh, reni and paul too uh, as he was an arm trafficker everybody knows about it except reni that she is fallen in victim of this person now there was a revolution which is nipped in the bud in the island in which paul played a very important role it is said that he was the person who has supplied guns in that revolution to mars dawn mars dawn and the prince of peace and dr mino all of them were killed paul disappeared without warning laura or rini that they should also <clears throat> make a safe escape from that place he only warned them that they should be careful and they should leave this place as soon as possible but he has made no arrangement for the safety of these girls he used them and threw them soon police caught them on the doubt on the basis of suspicion and she was sent to some jail where she found that laura was already there and she found also that laura she is having relationship with these policemen with the hope that they will do her favor but when reni made her realize that this is not right then laura stopped but it was now too late the policemen ha started harassing her the policemen beat her very badly and now both the girls they realized in the end that there is no hope for them that they may be able to come out from the jail nobody is there to help her and in the end of the novel <coughs> reni feels the hands of her grandmother who are searching for reni reni started searching the hands of her grandmother in that small cell of the jail and through this margaret edward wanted to convey this message that these hands they are an extension of brain it could mean that reni is hoping for someone to come for her to help her and <clears throat> reni pays the penalty for leaving griswold if being satisfied with the life there if she had remained there and had worked there she would not have ended in jail so this is the end of the novel through this margaret atwood shows in bodily harm both the paradoxes of the world and builds each personality in order to create a complex wave 
she invites the readers to follow the heroine through the women point of view though margaret herself is a feminist she has no hesitation to show that trouble comes not only from men every time but women too have some failures they also make mistakes however she regards all who have weaknesses and suffer misunderstanding because almost anyone can identify with her characters <coughs> the author points out the facts of life and compels she thinks how we can do better the novel gives us the impression that the world is not a fit place for women for a simple women like rainy her only fault was that she believes every man who comes in her life and let them use her in whatever way they like here in the novel the question arises in our mind had she not left griswold and been satisfied with her life there she would have not ended in jail in the last because according to the novelist women need protection and <coughs> seek shelter and men knowing all the weaknesses of women they take all the advantage of their vulnerability they know that women are vulnerable and that is why rani too she has become the victim of this men's world so in the end margaret atwood wanted to tell that to have ambitions is not bad but to fulfill your ambition if you don't make any policy if you don't make any plan it is going to do harm it is going to bring miseries and misfortunes in your life as it brought in the life of rani she was ambitious she thought that she is beautiful and with her smartness she will be able to win the world but if you wanted to win the world you have to keep your roots strong this mistake was committed by rani that she cut off her relationship with her family she never cared about her family in the rest of the novel only in the end she recalls her grandmother when she was in the jail and she realized this fact that she is not going to uh, be out of jail in future and she has to die here so this novel bodily harms gives a great lesson to the young girls who are very very ambitious and who are ignorant enough not experienced out of the outside world that world is not so good it is not so protective as it appears to be when you are at home when you are escorted by your parents or well wishers